Wait, I'll see. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to our first ever Prop Talk, your property show. So I hope uh, you're all doing great this afternoon, especially this Saturday afternoon. And by the way, uh, I'm your host, Jess Mendros, and with me is Arthur Gonzalez. Hello, everyone. Hello. Uh, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Welcome to the show. Um, actually, we have an interesting topic this afternoon. Uh, right, Jess? Yes, that's right. It's, actually, it's very relevant, especially during this time. It's very timely and and I'm uh, inviting all our viewers right now to stick around to get some practical information that you can use, especially yeah. on our topic this afternoon. And I, yeah, and I think I think this is very very. Uh, everybody can relate to this topic. Everybody can, uh, everybody can be very very. Uh, can get a practical information that they can use you no know, moving forward. So, okay, let's yes. jump right in. Um, yeah. Let's jump, jump right in. So welcome to our first episode. So this will be, a, what will be our topic is about real estate trends. Because, mm -hmm. oh, because lately, the uh, if you've seen all around, grave all the news about what is happening in our world, in our world right now, the pandemic, COVID-19, yeah. uh, right. yeah, yeah. the world has uh, brought into, I uh, uh, full stop. <laughs> so, and, and it affects a lot of industry and, and, also, with real estate, we are really affected with this one, especially during this time na, uh, there's, uh, during the quarantine and then nobody's allowed and all, all businesses have stopped, actually. So, we have if you've seen, iba, no? No? If yeah. you've seen so, hi to our two viewers. <laughs> so, if you have seen, uh, if you even if you just walk around the city, diba, uh, you can see a lot of uh, businesses closing, even those hotels, diba, one of our hotels there is a Davao. Dito sa Davao was closed actually their doors. So hmm. that's really something uh, a lot of people right now would understand that a lot of people, especially those who are into real estate, investing mm -hmm. in real estate industry, are really having that fear and anxiety. Mm -hmm. and, and, and this is that, that okay. anxiety, that, that emotional uh, status. I think it's uh, it cut uh, it cuts across uh, any any type of stakeholder in the real estate industry, whether you're a buyer, whether you're an investor, whether you're an agent, whether you're a, a, a seller or a broker. Um, you have, I've talked to friends. Yes, no, I've, talked to, yeah. <laughs> I've talked to friends. Um, I've talked to fellow brokers, the, those the licensed brokers who have their own firms. Um, all, um, some hold a certain degree of optimism, but um Generally, generally, the 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 feeling of uncertainty is uh, there. No, um, uh, na kailan ba to matatapos? Ano bang hanggang kailan ba talaga ito? So the question of when, the question of how low can the economy go? How high can we? Uh, when can we bounce back? When will everything go back to normal? Will it go back to normal in the first place? So yeah. I've talked to I've talked to clients in the bank. So I'm so. Yeah, for the sake of our viewers, I'm also a banker, so I've talked to clients in the bank. Uh, so they've they've also asked, and then I've talked to my clients in real estate that also ask, uh, what to do? So nung gagawin ko, I'm go, am I going to unload my portfolio? Am I going to am I going to um, hold on to them? Am I going to or start buying even more? So and the agents, uh, so. Ito bakit pa, parang hirap magbenta ngayon. People are not buying. People are and 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 on the other spectrum, they're saying no, no, no. People are buying actually aggressively because they're looking for deals. So, mm -hmm. and um, but but it all all in all in general, I find it find it very very real. No, you cannot discount the fact that it's very real for people to feel uncertain. 
And mm. that's what we're trying to, um, not really, I do not promise to give you 100% foolproof answer this afternoon, but we'll try to give you some insights on how you want to navigate uh, based on what is the trend right now in uh, real estate. So, yes, and I think one, um, one way to, to relieve that fear and anxiety no, is getting information, uh, first-hand information, like, like for both of us, that we are really in the market emerge mm-hmm. and we're talking to a lot of people a lot of our clients diba? so mm-hmm. we are getting first-hand information on what's really happening so yeah. so that's why we're also doing this live stream it's actually to add value to our friends and clients who are watching us right now na yeah. really is, uh, we, us here in property we are your friends we can we are we are here for you uh, and uh, during this time so so we'll provide you with data information that you need. That is something yeah. that you can really use. Well, that's the promise that we we gave you at the start of the our discussion. So, so let's dive yeah, into but, it. The question. Okay, go ahead, bro. Yeah, but before before you continue with your question, oh. no, um, I think you have a surprise, diba? You you have yes, you have in store for those who are watching. Sa ano, so especially si Ruel Tanya is our first viewer. I think he deserves a. A shout out for being the yes. first to enter the room. <laughs> yes. So, oh, I would like to ask everyone to stay with us, tune in with us until to, until the end of our live stream because we will be having a question of the day, diba? And then, and and we will be giving a prize for who who can answer the best question, selection of the ano, the best but, question, and we will announce it next week. Tama? Yes, and we will question. reveal the winner for the uh, the question of the day on the next live stream. Okay, uh, the, the, the and next then, week's show, which is Saturday, right? This, we will be la- doing this every Saturday at four PM. So I hope you support us and watch our live stream weekly. Yeah. So we will. <laughs> so ang, ang prize pala ng ano ng nang winner natin will be 100 pesos load. So, ganun muna. I love the start. Akala ko house and lot. House and lot. <laughs> Bakit naman. <laughs> Bakit naman. Those of you who are watching us right now, pa sponsor naman. Bakit naman. <laughs> so, so, okay, so, game. So, also, I would like to welcome everyone who's just tuned in with us. So, uh, please like, share and comment. If you have questions, please put it in the comment section. We are actually simultaneously live sa property page and also with our face ah no with our youtube channel yeah. so sa facebook so we're simultaneously doing this and then so let's get right into the question okay right. that we are trying to answer this time that is, is related to the real estate trend so the question right now which is actually nas, nasabi mo na din kanina if i'm in the real estate industry right now okay is it the best time for me to buy or to sell or to hold the investment portfolio that I already have right now. So that's yeah. the question that we 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 are go- the goal to answer this afternoon. Okay. So uh we we'll go with the facts muna. I think Arthur has prepared us something na uh, and details on some facts and we'll put yeah, in also I, our uh, yeah. uh, I think I think for you can yeah, I think before you can answer that is that uh, we need to understand well where our economy is in the Philippines. Yeah. No? So right now we will really uh, we, we, there's no denying you can see it in the news, you can see it in the data of the. Um, I I have here. I don't need to. I think I this is. Yeah, let me see. So to those who are watching us this afternoon, please uh, give some love and click that like button and share yeah. this with your friends. Um, so Yeah, I, I have here, I have here the second quarter report of um, the Philippine Statistics Authority. And this is very, very clear, right? Uh, our, our GDP has contracted by 16.5% and uh, compared with the same period last year. So this is... This is the contraction that we have, and on different industries. Actually, it's surprising for me. For the major industries that we have, the the uh, agriculture industry increased by one point six percent, and the rest of the industry in mining, quarry, manufacturing, construction, electricity, 
wholesale retail they're all down the big uh biggest also uh na nag-down is accommodation and kaya nga yung sinabi mo kanina yung hotel eh yes. natin dito sa Davao is one of those uh, affected uh, tourism mm-hmm. industries yeah. uh, resorts they're all affected but there are there are winners also during the pandemic this is ICT because people started to do uh, remote uh, meetings um uh they the people required more internet for the school for for the kids for the for the cor- companies even for the businesses online selling uh, you, you notice it in the facebook facebook right now is like a grocery store actually it's like a mall online sellers online <laughs> sellers and shout out to all online sellers i salute you it just shows the the entrepreneurial spirit of filipinos and the filipinos uh, um, ingenuity in terms of uh, Uh, no retreat, no surrender. Survive, laban lang. So, yun yung spirit ng Pilipino. Eh. So, that's what you see right now. They're trying to find ways how to how to survive, how to how to replace the lost income brought about by the effects of pandemic. So, yan. Uh, one of the the winners in, in during this pandemic is ICT, or Information and Communications and Technology. So, um, it grew by 6.6%. Along with finance, financial insurance activities, which, uh, kasi ngayon, siyempre, Um, we all know how how the how the uh, pandemic is uh, draining some of the family's finances because the the, the medical medical expenses are really high. Um, so it's also winning right now that people realize the need for insurance. No, so which incidentally is also part of the portfolio ni property. So. Um, pro- And the public administration, so on the government side, um, yan, winner din yan ngayon because really the one running the the programs to address pandemic and to assist our uh, the people are is the government. So one of the one of the things that we need to look at before we answer the question, are going to buy, sell, or hold your your real estate portfolio? Is this you need to take it to account the twenty point. 1% drop in real estate and ownership of dwelling. So, which means, uh, this simply means that, uh, uh, wait, let me rephrase the question. Uh, is this is this telling of the real uh, aspect or the real status or real condition of the real estate uh, industry in the country? The answer is really no. And partly yes. Because um, since uh, real estate is... Um, uh, Uh, a myriad, no? It's it's a myriad of uh, of of classes and the types of of, of properties that uh, is existing. This one speaks about mainly about the ownership of a dwelling, meaning residential. No? Uh, right now, there's a slowdown. Uh, admittedly, ang tao ngayon nagtitipid ayaw maglabas ng pera, so they are um, they are holding on to their money and not. buying jumping into buying or buying new homes na hindi uh-huh. na, kasi ang isip nila hindi ko kayang i-sustain which is the right thing to do but um in terms of in terms of um, strategic moves uh in uh, being strategic about your move as an investor you need to also think beyond ito beyond itong second quarter or even the third and the fourth quarter of 2020 you need to think beyond that so that we will be able to have a complete picture of yes ganito ang situation ngayon pero saan ba talaga tayo papunta what are the opportunities yes what are the opportunities that i can maximize um sabi nga nila firemen became hero become become, become firemen become here become heroes because they're the ones going into the house when the house is burning. So, habang yung iba, tumatakbo palayo. So, what I'm trying to say is that there is there is a way to manage your fear of uncertainty and mitigate the risk. How? By, be, by knowing this, by knowing this, the information, and knowing uh, your objectives. And kung ano ang, kung saan ka ngayon. Where you or are you standing? So I hope it makes sense, no? But uh, um, but so far for me, what I can share is um, yes, 
the dwelling, the residential industry right now is slowing down, but there's an opportunity for you to strategize your investment portfolio, which brings me to my next to my next uh, data. Uh, I think this one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So this is from International Monetary Fund. This is from IEF, the and World Economic uh, Organization. So here you see global economy, advanced economies. These are the US, the Europe, and UK. And on the right most side, you can see the emerging markets and developing economies. Now, the good thing here, this is this this is a chart that excites me actually. So on 2019, ito, you see that on the average emerging economies, which includes Philippines, we grew by 3.7%. So uh, and, and expectedly, ngayon, 2020, where the economy, this economy, this uh, group of economies are, are extracted, uh, expected to contract by 1% because of COVID. Mm-hmm. It can be lower for some, can be higher for some, but uh, it can be tamer. The impact can be tamer for some, but uh, basically expected lahat mag drop your economy but the most exciting thing is next year ang bounce back so the bounce back yun yung if you are a strategic investor if you have if you have an extra cash right now that you need to you are thinking about investing investing saan mo ilalagay um ito yung pwede mong i-focus no if you have an excess fund you can focus here where do I need to put my money to maximize the bounce back? So, so, okay. so what I'm trying to say is that if uh, if tight ka, if um, if uh, you have no excess funds or medyo enough lang yung, yung funds mo, don't don't let uh, keep keep your liquidity. Wag mong bitawan yung cash mo. Hold on to it and um, Wag, wag mo masyado yan. Uh, wag, mo masyado, wag ka masyadong maging uh, aggressive muna. But if you have excess na, na pinag-iisipan mo whether ilagay mo ba sa stock, bibili ka ng ganito, anong bibiliin mo or ganyan. And you got everything covered. You have you have your emergency funds. You have your other funds. Then, this is one of the information that can help you make a good decision. Yeah. So, in terms of data, I think this is uh, one of the things that I can really share to give you a perspective. So quarter twenty, uh, quarter two of twenty twenty, we're down. Yes, we're down, and I think that's what's contributing. Yun yung nararamdaman natin sa ngayon. Mm-hmm. Yan yung nararamdaman natin sa ngayon. Slowing down, it's going down. But uh, most, uh, most of the strategic investors do not stop looking at what's happening now. They're, they're, they they go beyond that and they look at what's around the corner, which is after 2020, ano ba, saan ba papunta ang economy? Yes, by 2021, we're at 6.6. 6. Mm-hmm. That's very hard. That's a very huge bounce, diba? Yeah. Oh. So we're expecting at the end of the year, ganun pa rin. We're, we're uh, not only Philippines, diba? Uh, almost all countries mag may negative for the end of the uh, year. I'm sorry. I think I, I breezed through dun sa mga sa dalawang charts. But if you have a question, there's no problem for me going back there. Ha? Para just to uh, top so you can write in your questions if you have questions, uh, clarification. You can put in the comment section. So, yun siya. And uh, I just also want to add art, no? Because uh, you've talked na kanina in terms of the spending of of people. Uh, I just want to show you this one, uh, the data that I uh, got from Lamudi. Mm-hmm. Okay, share ko lang to siya. Try to zoom this one. Up. This was. This data is uh, during this time na start na yung quarantine. The, uh, in terms of the of buying ng mga tao right now, in terms of buying ng mga tao, uh, they give us the they give this data na uh, for the low end na budget, kung baga yung mga two million and below, there's really an unchanged. There's no changes in terms of the buying. The mm-hmm. the only thing that wow. is shifting right now is in the middle market and the high end market. Wow. Diba? Something that na, na you get to be amazed because kung dito sa Davao, diba, we've noticed this one na. We're very shocked that even during this time, diba, that we are in quarantine, we're still closing a lot of sales, diba? Mm. Uh, and most of it are houses. <laughs> diba? Oh, grabe. 
na during the, those times, even we, even we had a shot also of a high-end development na we are still able to close the, even during this time of quarantine. So, there's really, it's not really something na uh, those who are uh, kumbaga like do what they're doing, what we're doing right now, that they're looking into data. It's really uh, something that they have to position themselves. Diba? Mm-hmm. Pero, but again, we'll go back to again, like what Arthur uh, just said, it depends on what your current standing right now or your current situation, especially on your finances, diba? Because you mm. don't, put, if you have extra cash right now, but you have not prepared, you don't have your emergency funds or any, parang wala kang excess cash, we don't suggest that you go right away, diba? Buying and you go for a buying spree and then without, you don't have your overheads or your floating, diba? Oh, tsaka, tsaka ang ano lang naman dyan is, ano ba talagang objective mo? If yes, if uh, your objective is for end use ng family mo, and then um and then and you have set aside money for it, then go. Uh, yes. Kasi ang residential dwelling ngayon, considering actually yung chart na pinakita ko kanina, if it's slowing down by 20% or so, it's the best time for you to buy. Why? Because the developers will feel the slowdown and mm-hmm. and they will be in a way, hindi naman sa nagsaslow down sila then, but they will understand the situation. In fact, they're doing it right now to be part of, uh, you know, uh, helping also the stakeholders, the industry. Uh, I ask, basically, for most of the developers that we also partner with, hindi sila nag increase ng pricing because, they, of course, they want to help out. No, they want to help out. They want to, they want to, ano yan? Especially, Oh, oh. Kasi if you uh, low, lower their prices, kawawa naman yung naka, uh, nakabili mo. Yeah, ang maganda lang yan, naka-sideways ngayon eh. Constant yung pricing ngayon. So if you, if para yan, na, na, nabigyan mo na yan ng, ano, nabigyan mo na yan ng fund, bigyan mo na siya ng uh, budget, you might want to buy. You might want to buy now. And titingnan mo naman, your your income is not affected. For example, you are in the essentials part. Uh, essential ka na industry or continuous naman, wala namang any any change or impact yung pandemic sa'yo. Um, then you need, you, you, you don't need to be get affected or derailed by what's happening right now. Because like any pandemic in the history, 1929, uh, 1930s, 19, ano, lahat yan natatapos. Mm-hmm. And iba-iba lang ang ano, medyo shocked lang sa atin ngayon because uh, felt natin yung impact compared with SARS before, compared with others before. But, but what I'm trying to say is if your, your income is, if you assess that your source of revenue or yung cash flow mo is stable naman and then may budget ka na dyan, it's the best time for you to buy. Now, uh, if ang, ano mo, if ang, uh, if ang objective mo naman is to be very, very quick, to make a quick money out of it, uh, I don't think this is the best time for you to buy. Bakit? Um, you all know that the nature of real estate is, um, is uh, hindi siya yung pinaka-liquid na investment mo. Solid siya. Hindi siya, pina- hindi siya ang pinaka-liquid. <laughs> Meaning, when we speak about liquidity, it's how, liquidity is uh, how fast, is it measured by how fast you can convert an asset into cash. no So, alam naman natin, real estate, kung chamba, meron chamba, mabilis mo mabenta, pero normally, it takes a bit of time before you can convert your real estate uh, asset to to sell it and convert it to cash para magamit mo yung cash. Now, kung yung, kung yung objective mo is to flip it in a short span of time, like para kang bumili ng stock, in, ako ngayon, third low, sell ko mamaya pag high, hindi yan siya, that's not, that's not the way to go. Even if you say na, okay, I'll buy it now and then after three months, four months, I'll sell it at a higher price. I don't think this is the best time for you also to go unless you find a really, really bargain deal. Which is marami din ngayon if you are guided well. no. But um, ang limit lang ngayon is that um, when I say a finding a bargain deal, ito yung I'm right now speaking about those who think about um, being strategic about their monies. So, okay, kanina, di ba, yung pinag-usapan ko, yung flip lang, in and out, in and out. You cannot, you can can go in, but going out may be 
may take a bit of time. You may have to wait for one year. Like Kasi, before, no, you can flip it in just six months. Yeah, oh, I've seen it. I've seen it. We have helped clients. Binili ito, then the following two, three months, maliquidate na agad. Ngayon, you will have to think like a farmer. No, mm-hmm. Think like a farmer. Sabi nga ni Warren Buffett, when you enter a stock market, you think like a farmer. And I think it's applicable also to real estate. Oh. You think like a farmer. Um, bibili ka ngayon. Um, Siyempre, bibili ka naman talaga. Kung bibili ka ng, lot, ng, ng lote, tataniman mo yan. You do not think about uh, pangit yung ulan bukas, ang init, lang, ang init naman after the day after tomorrow, o ulan naman next week. Hindi mo, hindi mo iniisip yan eh. Hindi mo iniisip yan. Ang iniisip mo, okay, binili ko siya ngayon, tinaniman ko, after six months, after three months, depende sa crop mo, yung cycle, alam ko, mag, may ano ako, may kita ako. Actually, even if failure, those who are familiar with farming, even if yung first crop or second crop mo mag-fail, you will not think na useless pa rin, useless yung ano useless yung property or yung farm na nabili mo alam mo ko anong potential ng farm na yan and you can wait out for the good for the good weather good prices ng product mo and then make a killing doon sa cropping na yon it's the same thing with buying long term and buying strategically for real estate So over the span of time, like, binili mo yan. Alam mo ang potential ng property na yan. Alam mo. Sinabi, you were guided by someone from property or other brokers who can who have also the information to guide you na, okay, this is, this is a potential. This property is, alam mo yung property na ito, maganda ito. Uh, pag binili ko ito ngayon, yes, I will not be able to, I can hold on I can hold it on until next year, until 2022, 2023. Pero alam ko, magiging presyo nito, ganito, ganito, ganito. And then I can, pag happy na ako, I can let it go. So, mm-hmm. yan, ang, yan ang, if you're listening right now and you have that kind of mindset, and if you do not, even if you do not have that kind of mindset, and I suggest you have to um, have that kind of mindset. Um, it can be learned as well, by, by the way, no? It can be learned. It can yeah, be in the right point. And uh, oh, suggestion ko lang. If this is your if this is, if di ka pa nakakapasok dito no. sa real estate, you ask any property na andiyan marami diyan sa comment section. You can ask them uh, ask someone that you trust in real estate. Uh, have them guide you, have them have them um tell you kung ano yung potential ng property. Uh, as to the risk, hindi naman talaga nawawala ang risk. Merong risk lahat. But, I, I seldom find, kahit nag pa tayo, kahit dumaan pa ng gera ang isang lugar, para tila umaakyat yung value ng real estate. Okay. And, meron nga last time, eh, nagsabi, oh, totoo ba yan, Art? Eh, yung US nga, 2007-2008, nag-dip yung real estate market. But look at uh, seven years after, ten years after, look at now. Ano na yung mga nakabili nung, yung bumili nung 2007, 2008 because of the bargain deals. Everybody was running out from the burning house that time. But those who have excess money, they bought a lot of real estate. After seven, ten, nag-recover na eh after seven years. So 2013, 2014, 2015, the prices went up again. 2016, People are make people who bought in 2008 were making a killing in 2016, 17, 18, 19 until it slowed down again. Dito. So, so consolidate it in a certain period. Yes, yes, yes. What I'm trying to say is that real estate that time, no? Because mm-hmm. that time, nagpulo talaga yung Wall Street, de ba? Oh, tsaka yeah. ano yun? Real estate market talaga nagpulo down that time. Market. Uh, and and. Uh, It may be, they may say na masyado ka namang heartless, masyado ka namang uh, opportunistic. Um, but uh, ang, ang, ano ko, ang ano ko lang dyan is uh, you have to be very, very um, objective about your outlook when you go into investments. Uh, it, you need to be able to remove your emotions when you come into, when you enter uh, real estate investing. Um, okay. Kaya nga, sineparate ko kanina. If it is uh, for your para sa pamilya mo, home, it's a home purchase, you go for it. Kasi kung alam mo naman na may budget ka na dyan and then stable yung income mo, uh, 
comfortable ka naman, you go for it. But mm. if you medyo tight ka ngayon, hold on to your cash. So wag ka munang don't do anything, no? Hold on to your cash. So, Now I'm talking usually, about uh, oh, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. Uh, usually yung mga end user, 'di ba? Again, you go back with the purpose, 'di ba? Uh, mm. usually kapag yung mga end user buying a real estate right now especially you're not affected with covid you still have a steady income the diba? there's mm. a whole home dwelling like what arthur is, is saying about being emotional in real estate if you're looking at it as an investor mm. again rule of investment never be emotional with your investment because yes. especially kapag real estate diba, no? you can, you can, it's very easy to be attached with your real estate properties especially if you've already went in with the house you see the 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 fixtures and everything the paint You get to be emotional, but if you have that, we again go back again to what's the goal, what's the purpose of it? Is I mean, am I going to sell it after a few months or a few years? The boss will never be emotional. But again, if you are an end user, let's just say you buy it for a for a dwelling for your family. Sometimes I call this one as cost beneficial. Mm-hmm. It can be cost, but the same thing. But it, in a way, it's beneficial because uh, you're enjoying you're enjoying the 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 ano yung nabibigay ng property na as a shelter to live on, de ba? Yeah. yeah, and sure. and, and when yung, actually when you speak about attachment, that which brings me to the next uh the next action, di ba? Ang, ang pinag-usapan natin for most of the time for the last few minutes is about buying. Now, how, how about the selling part? So actually, um, aside from the emotional attachment, there's also another emotion that drives people it's to either uh buying or yung iba naman actually in most cases selling which is yan yung emotion of fear the feeling of fear so for example sabi niya nako patay uh, nagkamali ata ako dito uh, nabili ko condo and uh, ganito or nabili ko dito sa area maraming nagsara na halimbawa i bought a commercial property and then yung katabi ko naubusan ng ano na naubusan ng tenants kasi nag-close yung tenants uh, all the out of the this is real ha? i see this yung yes. yung katabi niya um, na commercial building four of the tenants four uh, four of the five tenants nagsara kasi di, they belong to to mayroong isang um, events organizing mayroong isang ganito basta nagsara so isa ang natira Now, sabi niya, oh, paano ba ito? Eh? Uh, I'm afraid na hindi makaba mali ang nagawa ko. Shall I, shall I sell this? Shall I, ano? The, the, my question to him was, kailangan mo ba ng pera? <laughs> Kung hindi mo kailangan ng pera, doon ang load it. So, kaya, kasi, siya, hindi. So, you have, that's the part that you have to manage your emotion uh, uh-huh. and do not let go. Kasi, uh-huh. um, actually, when everything corrects, Everything corrects. Everything bounces, bounces back. Like, uh, like yung pinakita ng IMF, ng International Monetary Fund at saka World Economic Forum. Um, that's the time that you will make uh, good gains doon sa property na nabili mo. And it will be big. Um, and which brings me to the flip side of it, of, of selling. You have to sell if kailangan mo. Ang, mm. if, if you are tight in finances, you have to sell. Kasi... Mm. Kasi ang, that's, yun naman ang isang purpose ng real estate, ng in any investment for that matter, including real estate. Ang, ang ano mo lang sa real estate is that uh, it may take time. And if you want to liquidate it fast, uh, you will have to take some sacrifices in terms of pricing. Medyo bargain price maba. The, low, the lower it is versus the market. If this is the market value, it's the prevailing value, you have to price it lower para madali siya mabenta. Madali mo maliquidate. Madali mo magamit yung cash. Um, yan, you also need not to be emotional dyan. You need to approach it na uh, objectively. So, kailangan ko ng cash. Isa ito sa mga assets ko, ito yung purpose bakit ko to binili. No? If wala ka ng ibang cash na pwedeng maliquidate, you, you consider either turning it into cash the soonest time that you can. So you can, pwede mong itawid ito. Um, now, mayroon ako nakita, like example, paano kung i-loan lang? Yeah, it's good na mag-loan, but right now, let's take note that uh, most of our financing institutions, including banks, are taking, um, ano ngayon, ang yung approvals ngayon? Uh, Mahirapan. Uh, Mahirapan. <laughs> 
Mas kahirapan ang ato. Pero kung natin kahirapan, siyempre, may ano tayo eh, uh, mga, ang, may mga, ano yan, may mga tinitingnan din yan. Kasi a lot of industries right now are affected. So they have to be uh, also be prudent. No? The, the Banko Central ng Pilipinas wants the, all the bank to be prudent about uh, the credit part or yung the lending. So you know, no, no, kahit na parang they're moving to to lower interest rates. Though, oh, supposed to be ang sarap mag, mag, mag-loan ngayon, no? Kasi because of the low interest rates, but oh, yun nga oh. lang. There's a lot of things to do. Okay. Ganun naman just go through. talaga eh. Yung, yung, yung Banko Central ng Pilipinas, they will lower down the interest para matulungan yung mga tao. So, para pag humiram ka, kasi marami talaga ngayon mga kailangan ng funds to bridge, to bridge yung slowdown. So, uh, para, para maitawid, um, manghihiram ka ng pera and then you finance your business ba, 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 para sa recovery. So, alam ng Banko Central yan. Kaya binaba nila yung uh, ng ilang basis points yung, ano, yung rates. And it will follow din sa mga banking sector natin. It will trickle down na bababa din yung lending rates. Mm-hmm. So, what I'm trying to say is that um, why am I recommending letting go or, or liquidating your property instead of applying it for loan? Kasi, sa totoo lang, mas mas mabilis, uh, mas 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 mas, uh, mas okay pa rin na i-liquidate mo siya fully uh, para para magamit mo yung funds no kasi pagka kukuha ka ng kukuha ka ng uh, funding out of loan may kailangan ka na nga and then you take on interest expenses na nakasama diyan na medyo midterm 5 years 3 years 10 years um, may not be a good move for you na meron ka pang utang and also pala uh, speaking of loans then pala no uh, mostly ang pinaka affected this time is especially the approval is those who are who bought uh, through project selling or yung mga pre-selling mm-hmm. na property mm-hmm. diba so mm-hmm. cuz right, right now uh, this again this is a first hand information cuz we are really in the business of real estate uh, mm-hmm. uh we are really having a hard time no uh, are trying to help our clients really get approval sa bank cuz of what's really happening because uh, very, very prudent sila in terms of selection and then uh, gusto ko lang pala i- ibalik muna dun sa buy na side because okay. uh, we have to frame it naman din kasi if you're because there are still those uh, I have clients are asking me na uh, is it the best time to buy pre-selling? Ba? Mm-hmm. Diba? Home dwelling pa rin, diba? Because before like if you're going for condo units the, the, the way they're selling it is you sell it because you'll have a rental, which later on we'll be talking about when you hold the property to the mm-hmm. side ng rental. But mm-hmm. question is, is it the best time to buy pre-selling ba right now? Especially if, if, if uh, the mababang interest rate, but it's hard time to get approved. So, mm-hmm. though, and they're also thinking na baka on the pre-selling side, nag-lower din yung, ano, yung pricing, which most, di ba, mm-hmm. mostly, di ba, like, what our economists are saying, that we are having a U-shape na, ano, na economy. Di ba? Mm-hmm having a new shape. Uh, I just want to say, share this also to our clients now. Uh, the developers right now actually, they do, like Arthur just said earlier na, they didn't lower their price. No? But they just uh, have this kind of scheme that they are giving a lot of discounts and promos just to move the selling. So, kumbaga, what I'm trying to say is that the pricing of pre-selling, pro- pre-selling properties or projects is just side, nag sideways lang. Uh-huh. It, it not really nag deep down and then yung sa portion naman ng brokerage or ginatawag tinatawag natin mga private owners selling their properties yung example ni Arthur if you're in the in a need of cash right now you really have to think of selling into a bargain or a lower price i think that's the part na uh yung like sa data that there's a, a slow uh, uh, my, my, my certain my certain percentage of the price nag lower uh-huh. no kapag we're selling of pri- or for private owners, uh, from private owners. So again, diba, because of the need of cash, pero like the one of your clients, you, you ask them whether they buy or to sell. The first question to ask is, do you have a need for money? So if they don't have the need for money, okay lang, they can just hold on to the property. Hold and the good the thing property. is, so far, hindi naman nabubulok yung real estate. Eh. No, actually, it's a, it's a good time. Uh, um, I can remember nga eh, um, during May, actually, I, I, I got flooded with questions or inquiries. Oh, ano bang, ano ba, bilit, bilit, 
art, bili tayo ng property, meron, meron ba dyan, meron bang mga good deal dyan. It was, was really surprising. Kasagsagan ng ECQ yun. And a lot of people are really looking for properties. They're going, looking for deals. Now, if it's, uh, and and if I may say, these are, these are real estate investors. And oh. if you want to really, and when we say investors, these are real investors. And if tayo, you want to emulate them, then we, we need to have their mindset na, Okay, ECQ, lahat takot, lahat ayaw bumili. Pero why are these investors looking for deals? So this is why they're making money. This is why they are they're uh, making money sa previous investments nila. Because oh, di, ganito yung mindset nila. They they when everybody is afraid, uh, that's their when, when when they come in. And yan naman yung usually yung ane. Eh, I think it's not a, a new. Uh, it's not a new advice na 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 you can you can be aggressive during in fact it's 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 a it's a strategic move that when most people are afraid to to go into real estate it's the best time for you to go in only yeah. dapat alam mo lang yung ginagawa mo and pagka hindi mo alam may ala, and and if you feel na hindi may may mga bagay na hindi mo alam then you ask some you consult. Mm. Now, let me go on dun sa free note mo na question about pre-selling. Mm. Yung pre-selling, I would advise na if hindi ka pa nakabili and you have been looking at a property, uh, tatlo yan eh. Um, you, you, you really wanted to to enter. Hindi ka pa nakakapasok with uh, real estate. And then, and then um, your, your, your cash flow is stable after after at by this time alam mo na eh kung affected ba talaga yung company niyo you will get the feel of it or or yung business mo uh, you would especially dito sa atin sa Davao and 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 i think for the rest of the Philippines the government is opening up the economy kahit naman kahit naman nag MECQ na sa Manila may galaw pa rin yung mga tao so um nakalockdown walang public transportation sila doon pero may galaw pa rin yung economy so and especially here in, in Davao so ang um ang pwede ko sabihin is that by now uh, alam mo na you have, you feel a certain kind of parang papunta na medyo medyo sinisimulan na natin yung recovery and by now alam mo na rin yung cash flow mo ang status ng cash flow mo uh, hanggang saan. And if you feel like comfortable ka, comfortable ka na doon sa income mo, and uh, comfortable by, by uh, I mean, uh, uh, what I mean is, alam mo na, 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 ano na siya, it's either yan na yun, stable na, or akit na. Um, then it's time for you to consider uh, getting into real estate via pre-selling. Because the advantage of pre-selling if you do not have to put in the entire amount, let's say, for example, there's a property, house and lot property, worth 3 million, 4 million, 5 million. You do not have to put in the entire 5 million. Five million. Yeah. In fact, you can just, you can spread. A lot of developers help us get into the real estate game by giving us a two-year, three-year, a one-year, two-years, three-year spread sa equity portion, yung down payment portion. Which means na when things rebound one year, two years, three years from now, you can take on a loan already. Mas madali na for you to 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 uh, fully acquire that property. Kasi sinimulan mo lang siya, what? Ano, ano bang, ano ngayon? Usual na down, uh, reservation, 20,000, 50,000, 30,000, di ba? Uh, at at maximum you can you can you can let go of 100,000 you do not have to but 100,000 for you to have a reservation of a 5 million 6 million 10 million property depende sa pre-selling so kukunin mo yan si spread mo yung down payment for the next few years talk it out with your broker talk it out with your agent tanungin mo siya ano bang strategy dito so pwede pwedeng pwede stretch mo by so ano tayo ngayon 2020 by 2022 2023 Alam natin may vaccine na yan. Alam na, uh, in fact, ngayon, nasa, ano na eh, na, papasok na ng clinical stage. Oh, clinical, ah, sorry, clinical testing stage yung vaccine. And 2021, 2022, dali, uh, alam na natin, 
recover na tayo. And by that time, yung 5 million mo, 7 million na yan, 8 million na yan. Hindi na natin alam. Who knows? So, mm-hmm. parang up niya, no? mas mabilis pa eh. Ang bounce mas back mabilis. Niya. Kasi ano yun eh, parang, alam mo yung springboard na binin mo na masyado. Oh. Pag nag-rebound yan, ang lakas niyan. So, um, um, if so that all of you are tuned in right now, I, I really, really want to encourage you. This is the best time for you to not be afraid. Manage your emotions. Don't be don't don't be controlled by your fear. Be cautious. Be uh, be wise. Be strategic, but don't uh, be controlled by fear. So you have to be strategic mm-hmm. about your move in terms of your investment, especially in real estate, because this is the, one of the best times. Um, mm-hmm. You see, um, you see, the government is not stopping. Uh, the government is not stopping uh, in investing in real estate, uh, putting in the infrastructure, postal road, bypass road. On the bigger picture, tingnan mo na lang yung ano, tingnan mo na lang yung IMF or and and, and yung yung hmm. how how the World Bank is looking at us as a good payor and and gusto nilang magpautang <laughs> magpautang sa Pilipinas. Kasi yeah. alam naman lahat naman nagpapautang, hindi nagpapautang sa isang kan- sa isang tao. Na alam nilang hindi mm-hmm. makakabayan. So, ito mo magpapautang sa isang tao na hindi magbabayad. So, parang ano lang yan, di ba? Parang ikaw lang yan. Hindi ka magpapautang sa isang kakilala mo na hindi marunong mag- hindi kayang magbayad. Alam mong hindi makakabayad. So, yung World Bank, they will not tell the Philippine government na, hey, oh, ito, willing kami magpautang ng ganito kalaki sa inyo. Kasi alam nila, yung economy natin, yes, it will contract. Masyado makinig sa so yung mga so yung medyo bias na media so yung puro ano lang alam mo naman sila so kung sa duma kinig diyan um kasi they puro puro ano yan puro negative and and if pagpapadala ka diyan and you will be controlled by fear that's a that's a difficult place to be in so you have to remove your emotions look at the bigger picture uh in fact if you want to be technical about it philippines the rest of ASEAN, Southeast Asia, was downgraded by one notch in terms of investment. Tayo, in-upgrade pa nga tayo na naging BBB plus tayo. Oh, in terms of Sinabi yung BBB plus, mas mababang interest, mas malaki ang pwede natin utangin. And mind you, hindi masama mag-utang ang isang government if you will see that they are making infrastructures that are meant to produce more taxes, more economic activity like the highways, roads, coastal roads, bypass. Marami They're naman. Also infusing, diba? The government is also infusing to those businesses, diba? To help them, like yung sa Cebu oh. Cup, they're infusing. Uh, they're extending their help, actually, no? Para to mm-hmm. still continue their, their business. So, this is a good thing about uh, a government that is really using the money for the welfare of the people. No? Basta ano lang yan, um, if, if World Bank sees na hindi maayos ang pagdala ng pera ng government natin, hindi magpapautang sa atin yan. Mag-aalangan yan. Yes. So, political, we're, not pala, we're not political. <laughs> ay, wala naman tayong inaano na politics dito. Basta sa akin lang, ano lang yung facts. Uh, hindi yung kung ano yung, pini, ano yung what the people are trying to say uh, based on political slant. So, bahala na sila. Basta tayo, ang alam natin, ito yung ito yung totoo. Ito yung sinasa, ito yung ito yung independent naman yan. Hindi naman under control ng Philippine government yung World Bank. It's a money na it's a money that is meant to earn interest money. Pag hindi pinautang nila, pero hindi naman sila papautang kung hindi makabayad. So so yun lang yan and the bigger picture. Now, put it i baba natin dito sa city, sa Davao City. Um, do you think by the way, nang bumalik yung, actually, sa totoo lang, no? Nung, nung ter, yung this last week lang, this recent week lang, yung Monday to Friday, bumalik na ulit yung travel time ko from bahay to office. Nasa <laughs> 40 minutes to one hour from from Bangkal to, you know, to downtown. Traffic na ulit. Ibig sabihin, gumagalaw na ulit tayo. So, yung Davao naman talaga, Davao region, gumagalaw yan. Na, Everything na po pa rin yung mga tao. Mm-hmm. Cautious pa rin yung mga tao even if parang nag, nag-resume na and you see the 
yung mga sa jeepney, yung mga barriers nila, and all, uh, everyone is wearing face shield. It has been required, no? So if you're a commuter. Piling ko mag-welding tayo lahat. <laughs> then lahat. So, yun siya, uh, bringing back to the ano, discussion, because that's really how you position yourself, di ba? In terms of your, if you're planning to buy a pre-selling, mm-hmm. diba? you can really spread it. Lalo na kapag, yun, alam mo na talaga yung oh. sinabi na at alam mo na yung stream ng income mo even during this time of pandemic. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Pa, pa, yun, Kumita pa nga yung pandemic kasi besides from their steady na employment, nag-online selling pa. Diba? Mm-hmm. And, oh. and alam mo na totoo lang, this, this speaks a lot about uh, if you're an agent right now, if you're a broker right now. You, sabi nila, oh, wala, walang bumibili, walang ano. Kasi mali ang binibenta or mali ang binibentahan mo. So you have oh. to find, kasi I have seen, I have seen, uh, I've seen merong agent na nakabenta, merong agent na hindi. So, and may ginagawa yung isang agent, alam, may consistent na agent na nakabenta, may mga oh. hindi. So, definitely, I'm, I'm seeing now the difference between these two. Aside from consistency, persistence, um, which are very, very key no, sa, sa success natin dito. Um, but, um, these are the people who make them selves visible sa Facebook, social media. These are the people who always uh, who are also able to separate their emotions. Kasi sa totoo lang ngayon, marami rin talagang nag inquire na hindi ito matuloy or ano. Pero service lang naman, like what we're saying here in, in real estate. Si Ruel. Oh, ano, may shoutout na naman. Puro lang. Pero again, separate their emotions. Parang everyday ata si Ruel eh. Can you imagine if you're an agent and then you're all, all constantly doing your marketing and then puro ra inquiry, puro lang inquiry. Sometimes you get <laughs> depressed. Pero again, well, for, uh, speaking, to agents, uh, speaking to agents right now. So uh, you try to separate the emotion. You try to separate the emotion. Too much negativity right now in the world. It's not good that you add more fuel to the fire. <laughs> Uh, uh, yeah, so, kasi alam naman natin eh wala namang sinagsasabi na walang problema we're not denying na may problema may problema naman talaga but the uh, but the question is what are you doing? are you are, are you managing? are you doing something about it? are you doing something about the situation? are you letting yourself be defeated by or even, it? or are you even the thing- choice of words? Diba? Yeah. Oh, yeah, even the, the choice of words because you have to remember words create emotions whether you're buyer or seller ka or agent ka you need to be able to think clearly separate your emotions be objective of the situations get the enough data and then make your move yun lang naman yes. yun eh. so uh-huh. and also a bit of advice then no uh, especially if you're a buyer or even if you're a seller again like sinasabi na to kanina pa ni Arthur is, go back again to the purpose. What's the plan? Or what's the purpose of, of doing something, of buying or of selling? Diba? Yes. That's very important. Again, you go back. And that's one way of removing the emotions, diba? Mm-hmm. Of your, of your, what you, what's going to be your next move in terms of your portfolio and your real estate portfolio. Sometimes it's, it's very it's... helpful. I say you, you go first, Bo. So yeah, go ahead, go ahead. No. So it's also very helpful na, um, like let's just say you're a buyer or you're a seller it's very helpful really to ask also the help of agents of real estate yes. brokers again benta ko na sarili ko property it's very also <laughs> very helpful na, na, to really ask the the help of these people because they're the ones who are really in the market and and like for like so with, with property kasi we have actually been trained to be to be to always to have empathy towards your client like putting yourself in their shoes that's why when we talk to them, sometimes we're not after closing the deal, we're really looking for a long term, diba? What's the exit plan? What's the strategy? Do we, you know, because we're really looking for a long term client, diba? To have the, the relationship. That's why sometimes nga, magtaka yung iba, but ang tagal yung nakaka-close, diba? Gabi naman, hindi naman talaga matagal. We're just helping the client and making clear to give them certainty. Certainty in their, their investments. So, in fact, one of my clients, na we have done siya sa akin kasi sinabi ko talaga na when he was planning to buy a condo, tinanong ko talaga, what's really the purpose? Because the, the person is a seafarer. Uh, we went through that in the entire process and even through the emotions also purchasing. Diba? Kasi ganyan talaga yan. 
That's why one of our objectives of property is number one is to make property buying secure, easy, and fun. Because yeah. it's yeah, though investment yung tingin mo. Some it's it will always put in your emotion. But again, they will your agents will bring you back again to an objective na na state. And what's really the purpose? Why you are buying, de ba? So de ba? So that's our that's with the buying and selling. Mm-hmm. So far, I think it's very clear naman siguro no with the data. So if you have questions, if you have you have ano, in terms of the two topics pa, yung buying and selling, because the last one before we end this program is about the holding. Yung, typically, before, is sinasabi natin yun, is buy, sell, and rent. <laughs> Pero right now, uh, in fact, kami ni Arthur, we can really testify <laughs> with that one because we're also in the rental business. <laughs> and oh, we're, we're doing Airbnb, by the way. We're doing Airbnb, we're managing assets. With for our, with our clients, de ba? No, we we are the one managing their condo units, to putting up to to Airbnb or Booking. dot com. But grabe, no, we're very affected the moment that because 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 like on the side of doing Airbnb, most of the clients kasi is expats or mga tourists. Hmm. And now we have ano limited ano movement. Wala pa tayo ano flights. Wala pang travel, de ba? So that's the part of the ano. Uh, anything you want to add before we go with the whole bro? No, um, wala lang. Actually, parang we've said it, ano, para uh, sa, for me lang naman, any fear that you have, if if that is the one occupying your mind right now, yung takot ka, anything, whether you, whether seller ka, or whether, uh, whether buyer ka, or whether agent or broker ka, if may fear dyan, you need to displace it. Kailangan mo alisin yan. So, uh, para, para ma-crowd out mo yung fear na yan, you need to you need to replace it. And what's the best replacement? Uh, is data, knowledge, information. And you get it from different. Ayan, arm's length mo na. And get it from the right sources. Get it from the right sources. Um, one of the best sources is, yeah, consult with someone who is in the industry. Uh, license broker, the agents, managed by the license brokers, the firms. Tami dyan, marami dyan. But be sure lang. Kasi right now, no, grabe na yung ano, meron na tayong tinatawag na information pollution. Yeah. <laughs> Kaya alam mo, totoo lahat. <laughs> oh, hindi mo totoo lahat. Kaya may nasas, 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 okay. scam. Nas, nasas, nasas, scam. <laughs> may papaka, ang ganda ng graphics, eh. ang ganda ng presentation, yeah. pero alam mo yung sinasabi, mali. So, you be very, very careful. It's not all form. No? Mm, yeah. You need to look into the substance. So okay, okay. so we, before we proceed with the rent or the hold, uh, let's just mm-hmm. dip, siguro, dip, separate na lang natin. So for mm-hmm. those who are just watching sa live stream namin, uh, welcome again to Prop Talk. And kawai, if you kawai. think sharing here uh, benefits you, please hit that like button. If you're watching through YouTube, please subscribe naman. And then put oh. on your comments and also share it with a friend, especially if you have a friend, si Tita ba or si Tito na planning to buy or to sell their property, share it with them and yes. may help them and give value to them. Okay. And stick around, stick around because just as a question for you mamaya, uh, mm-hmm. na, na may price. Uh, yes, we'll have a price and the know. winner for the question of the day, we will announce it on our next episode mm-hmm. next Saturday, still in the same time, 4pm, mm-hmm. and we'll announce your name and Pwede din kayo mag-comment ng mga pabate and we can shout out. <laughs> and if you're here right now and then you find this helpful and then you know someone na pwedeng magpaka-benefit sa mga ganitong information, uh, invite them over uh, to join us next Saturday, 4 p.m. So, can discuss, they can ask their questions, if they have some concerns sa property nila, if they have a property na hindi nila alam ng gagawin nila, you can invite them over uh, or if may pera sila, hindi nila alam gagawin nila, pwede natin silang bigyan ng idea. <laughs> Ganda ng problema, no? Pag ganyan. To help you with that. Especially yeah. if you're, so, you're in, in the market right now looking to buy or yeah. to sell. Oh, okay, so yeah. the next item is uh, are you going to hold your property? Or, 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 or when is it, uh, ganito na lang yung phrasing, when is it the right move to hold your property, not do anything, not to sell it? Diba? Parang ganon. Is, did you, did okay, I yeah. hit it right? <laughs> yes. Yeah. We, can, we can approach it like, that way. Yeah. Paano ba yan? Before kasi it's so very easy, no? Especially kapag 
kahit before kasi, we're, uh, property is usually the reason you are holding your property because you are putting it into business, diba? You are putting mm-hmm. it to rental. Ganun kasi, so, the purpose that you buy it because you want to create a passive income for yourself. And mm-hmm. the other part is that is you want to hold it for a certain period of time and then sell it. So actually, there's actually two two things no to consider about that. So, uh, question na lang muna. Whether I be holding holding it and when should I be selling it? Which actually, I think we have already partly discussed yeah. it back in, yeah. in terms of selling. Because again, if we, the economy bounce back, diba? if you have bought it now, diba? Diba? Actually, 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 partly we have answered the question. Eh. Kasi sinasabi ko kanina, if hindi mo naman kailangan ng pera, you hold on to it. And mm-hmm. if you have a, if you have a real estate portfolio na alam mo malaki yung potential, like example, sabi ko yung farm, uh, do not despise it because of a bad one bad cropping or uh, one failed cropping do not despise your property your farm because of one bad cropping so ngayon it's a bad cropping season <laughs> bad season ngayon so do not despise your property so hold on to it and yes and even if you have need you need money and you need to liquidate assets you have to talk to your broker talk to your agent Talk to your property na, okay, kailangan ko ng cash and I have this six properties. Saan dito yung una nating ilalet go? So you have to decide which among those properties ang dapat mong ilalet go and dapat mong i-hold. And normally, you hold on to properties that have good upside when the economy bounces back. And there are a lot of factors that say, for example, is it located in a in a in a, lo- in, a, in a business district, is it located in a residential district? Is it located in a in a up and come? Ano bang developments pag ito yung area, dito na area? So yun tinitingnan din yun. Ano yung mga upcoming dyan? Ano yung mga long-term plans dyan? Ano yung mga approved na na itatayo dyan? So yan, yes. yan mga ganyan na data. It's very key sa decision making. And Although we, I would love to isa-isahin yan dyan, yung decision-making checklist na yan, na kung saan yung pipiliin natin na i-hold and i-let go natin. Uh, but it's an entire topic altogether. So, yun lang yan. Um, you need to you need to choose saan yung mag, you have to make a ranking of your all your properties and then choose the, the, the one na uh, na pinakamababa yung ah, pinakamataas yung upside yun yung you hold mo and yung pinakamababa yung upside yun yung i-liquidate mo and there's a way for and sabi niya oh, sino bibili kung mababa yung upside meron bibili niyan and there's a way so yeah. diyan papasok ang property tier diyan papasok ang other brokers na kakilala mo if you have other brokers na kaka uh, brokers uh, who are very well versed especially on that area diba yes. <clears throat> and be okay. sure that you choose choose well so, so, so that's when we sell. Now about the question on the rental side of the holding. Mm-hmm. So, currently, uh, uh, though some mostly the buy ang pinapa rent out is a residential yung sa condo. Condo, like kung yes, agree. Artist, now mm-hmm. what's what's been happening to us? <laughs> uh, a sad story, <laughs> but it's okay. Uh, we're we're still uh, doing well, okay, ba? Uh, positive lang, positive. <laughs> so, uh, now, uh, given that uh, we have limited travel, uh, mm. what do you think? Do, do, do our clients or do uh, rental owners right now still, it's, uh, what will be their move for this time? Well, ang isa dyan is to hold on to it and then adapt ang, or baliktad. Ah, no, no, no. Tama. Hold on to it, decide to hold on to it, and then adapt. Ano bang, kasi meron naman kasing ano, solutions na interim. Eh. Like for example, the interim right now is to go into long-term leasing. And it may not be the most profitable uh, proposition for a uh, property owner right now uh, compared dun sa nakasanayan. But it's something that they can bridge, can bridge the cost of, let's say, amortization, cost of... Um, cost of nung uh, mga association dues, kuryente, lahat-lahat, it can help out defray those expenses or cover those expenses. So, 
ang um, yeah just just decide to hold on to it if kaya if not hindi naman and then you have to liquidate it and then uh, un- unburden yourself of financial obligations that's that's how you and and in both cases in 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 both decisions you need an, an advisor to do it you need a oh. professional to give you an advice how to go about them uh, those moves now if you decide to hold on to it and have it rented you seek the help of someone who can help you uh, get good tenants yeah. jan uh, on the interim and and you know craft and frame the contract in in such a way now when the the market goes on an uptick already and may vaccine na resume na yung travel air air travel is also resumed then you can you can have actually sa totoo lang when sabi ko nga dun, dun, when when you operated Davao Boutique Con, when property operated Davao Boutique Condos the Davao Boutique Condos have been around for two years already and sabi ko ganun na pala katagal and for me it's just parang it's Bilis lang. Bilis lang two years na. So for me, kaya lang naman tumatagal ngayon because siyempre it's it's part na medyo uh, we're really yearning to yearning to bounce back. So we're really looking forward. Batang tagal, batang tagal, batang tagal, batang tagal, extend parate ang mga lockdown. So, but Sir, if you come to think of it, pag may long-term client ka, nakastay na dyan, the next thing that you know, tapos na yung contract niya and yes. nakabounce back na yun. Balik na ulit tayo sa short-term leasing. So, sa sentisa din kasi we have to consider then because every, like for for us that we are managing condo units, we have hmm. we also have to consider what the the homeowners association is, ano, is the uh, rules, especially uh-huh. during this time. So, ngayon siya, very important is really to adapt. To tell you honestly, that's really what we're doing also ni Arthur with our with our unit. So, before, actually, we have plenty of units we being rented out before on a daily basis. So, we try to, kasi, you cannot uh, bring them all back into your, uh, carry them all in your shoulders, di ba, sa, sa dami ng units. So, you have to adapt also with the current situation. Um, the important thing is, especially for those na you are still paying for your amortization, you are paying for homeowners association, uh, the the easiest is goran parang in fact actually actually it's a no brainer you have to go for the long term long term lease ang ang ano na lang talaga yan ang ang uh, other side lang yan is you have to craft it well especially with your contract kasi you don't want na matali ka for a certain period and then the the economy or the the situation already bounced back na pwede na yung mga short term lease yung mga pay Airbnb and then you are already left hindi ka nakasabay sa sa wave ng 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 pag-bounce back. Di ba? So, that's what na. do. Unless na lang, no, kung, and kung you're in the situation na di na talaga, uh, yeah. I've lost my job, let's just say something like that, and then you're still paying amortization. I think yeah, that's the time that you have to unload. Unload. Take, oh, unload, oh, unload. unload hmm. your asset. Kaya again, it's investment. Okay? It's investment. So, you really bought it that time. Something that you can have a, a, a future, kumbaga, future na money whether to to sell it or to use it diba Saka, so, I, I don't want to sound i don't want to sound parang harsh or medyo ano pero for me naman kasi talaga um if sabi ko kanina if halimbawa itong considered again yung condo mo parang farm you do not despise your condo because it's a bad cropping season uh yun yung nagiging ano ko talaga lately kasi for example may binili akong condo uh, hindi kumita for 3 months, 6 years, you know, nalugi ako. Paral talaga akong naglagay ng binhi, nag-abono, tapos uh, failed what? yung ano, cropping season. Yan yung yeah. perspective ko ngayon. And it, it gives me a perspective that it's really an investment. It's a business. Now, if it's a business, na actually, yung naman talagang mostly sa mga in natin na mga property owners, diba? they bought it to do business with it. And just like any other business, any business, there's risk involved. Di mo alam. Di mo talaga alam. A simple grocery store, uh, pwedeng manakawan, pwedeng mas, masunog, God forbid, pwedeng mabanggaan ng truck. Basta dami, dami pwedeng mangyari. Pwedeng mabahaan. Um, yun nga, yung farm na lang. <laughs> pwedeng 
you know, pwedeng kainin ng baka. <laughs> Malaki na sana kainin ng kainin ng baka. <laughs> Kung ano-ano na isip ko. Basta ang my, my point is my risk. And and dalawa, yung negosyante alam niya na pag may risk, it doesn't mean that the business is bad. Tinamaan lang talaga ng isang uh, incident. And sometimes also, there's also what we call the concept of cutting your losses. And uh, bis- successful businessmen do it. Pag nakikita na nila na di na nila kayang isustain, they will cut their losses. They will cut their losses and then, yeah, let go. Sabi- kasi minsan kasi, ang danger kasi, uh, like for example, okay, gusto ko nang mag-unload kasi hindi ko na kayang isustain yung amortization. No, nakabayad na kasi ako ng 1 million dito. I would like to sell it bukas or gusto ko mabenta ito agad. Within 2 weeks ng 1 million 1.2 para kumita na naman ako. Now, that is ideal. Pero if walang takers, uh, you should have you should have that leeway. Na okay. Um baka I might incur, incur uh, interest pa that baka, baka lumaki pa yung utang ko sa banko na hindi ko na mabayaran cut your losses cut your losses yan yung pinaka advice ko cut your losses think like a businessman cut your losses if hindi na talaga kaya kasi for me there's no point holding on to an asset that that will leave you with more and more uh uh, uh debt uh, obligations as you drag it so, ang pinaka-wise move talaga is to unload it the fastest that you can, the shortest uh-huh. time that you can para ma-unburden mo na with financial uh, load yung sarili mo. If na-foresee mo na hindi na kaya sustain or affected na ng pandemic yung cash flow mo. Uh-huh. And then, when things are better, bounce back. Ganun naman talaga lahat. Mantanim ka ulit. And then harvest ulit. Ganun uh-huh. na yan. Because eventually, by that time, kung <clears throat> even if you bought it already on a certain price, di ba? Mm-hmm. Ganun naman talaga yung sa real estate. Eh. Ayan yun, ayan yun. Um, wala talagang, ano eh, wala talagang, kahit anong investment, may risk involved. Just kaya nga kailangan, you have to be very, very uh, wise about it, separate your emotions. Yun talaga, papalik-balik na theme niya natin this afternoon. Uh-huh. Even even if you're into stocks, di ba? Kahit, yun mm-hmm. may stocks. I invested in stocks ng time na nag na na black swan yung yung stocks twice yung dito sa Philippines eh I bought it at a low price pero until na yung binili ko that time na super baba na bumaba pa lalo kaya <laughs> 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 so, ganon karon yun and then but, but you're still very positive if you're looking at for a long term investment again go back again to the plan the purpose of buying it or the purpose of saving it ganon na talaga yun so Yun lang yung yeah. advantage ng ano, yun lang yung advantage sa real estate. Alam mo yung when you buy it, buy it ngayon. Even if may pandemic nga ngayon, hindi mo mababa ang value ng properties. Mm. Yes, Totoo lang. True. It may not go up that fast, pero hindi mo mababa. Yes, yung advantage so, so, when you hold it. Mm. Yun lang. Yun talaga. Hindi uh, nang madali maliquidate, but again, parang mm. in a way, you don't incur losses kung baga. You just mm. have to wait for it, di ba? So, uh, yeah, I think I think we have covered na dung ano ano unless yeah. unless meron kayong questions you just uh, type your comments if you have questions and oh. if also if so pala more, one more important thing if you have a suggestion or suggest na suggestion you for topics or a request oh. for topics just put it in the comments and we'll see That's if right. we can work it out no we'll try oh. to feature that topic in the next uh, yes. episodes. And- also, an added value to our listeners, okay, you can send us a message because we are actually giving you free consultation, diba? Mm-hmm. And okay. with regards to your property. So, you can send us a message or uh, send us a, directly a message dito sa, sa page namin and then we will answer you and help you with your questions. Kung just, just say you cannot uh, post, post it on the comment section because it's too private. So, we can help <laughs> you with that. So, and I really, really appreciate if you like and share this video. And mm-hmm. I think everything has been covered, no? And I think you, yeah. uh, I hope our audience uh, has got a lot of value from what we are talking then this afternoon. Uh, anything you want to add before I think we, we are going to end, no? Yeah, yeah I, think, wanna... I think, uh, ano, ano tayo, eh. we have reached, I think we have reached our time already. So, 
dito sa sana in one hour pero the topic is really really good and I think it's very needful sa mga tao. So ang yun lang for me um always think like uh, always manage your emotions uh yun lang talaga if you are in, into real estate investing uh manage your emotions separate it uh, uh, replace fear with uh, with the information uh what is the information telling you what uh, What is the yes. data telling you? And and there, you sources. You be very very uh, uh, careful or choose the resources very well. It includes people who give you advice. Okay. So, so I guess that's it. Before we go, we're going to end this program. Thank okay. Thank you so much for watching watch, watching us right now. So I'm on first uh, for our very first live stream. <laughs> so before we end, Deva, what we have promised to you, there's a question for the day. Question of the day. Okay. Drum roll, drum roll, drum roll. Patayin drum roll. I, 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 I'll do- download a drum roll. Uh, so the question for the day, uh, before that, uh, I just want to say this again, a winner of 100 pesos load to be announced next episode. So it's very important kung If you have answered your question, you also need to watch next week para mm-hmm. to know if you're the, the winner. So you can claim it dito sa amin. So no need to be to do face-to-face kay load lang naman. So the question, <laughs> the question of the day. Ano ba? So this is the question of the day. Tignan natin kung gano, gano gamitin yung mga brain cells mo. Ganda na lang. If you have 5 million available cash right now, okay, how will you use it for real estate? Wow. Uh, relate natin sa topic whether you buy ano ba yung topic ni Arthur buy or buy or buy <laughs> what are you going to do with the 5 million actually we try to, be, to have it uh, as simple as this para we can get more engagement from you and we get to know our audience even more diba? through hmm. you we will also know uh, things that you want to learn from us so if you have any suggestion again if you have suggestion for topics for next week or for the fa- sa mga susunod pa na mga live stream namin, please put in your comments in the comment section. And we really appreciate if you you hit like and share this video. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. So that's it for for this afternoon for our prop talk. Before uh, before we you know, so um sorry. Okay. So that's it for our prop talk. Thank you for watching. And this has been your host Just Mendoza. And with me, Arthur Gonzalez. So right. leaving so, you with bye. this quote. Okay, leaving you with this quote from Robert Kiyosaki, sabi niya, real estate investing, even on a very small scale, remains a tried and true means of building an individual's cash flow and wealth. So thank you so much for watching. See you again next week for our prop talk. And we're so very, we're so happy to have you this afternoon with us. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.